Our next investigation is pattern seeking. This is where we look at two sets of data and see as if there is a pattern between it. So you could be a forensic scientist and you found a thigh bone. You need to figure out how tall that person is and is there a relationship between how tall the thigh bone is and how tall the person is. And we're going to find that out. So under biology investigations, you'll see this one that says PRAC.1. You're going to do three practicals. The first one, we're going to give you a lot of help and there'll be some videos. The second one will be some guided help. And the third one, you're going to carry out as though it's the internal. The only thing you're allowed to do by yourself, oh, the only thing you're allowed to do with other people is collect the results and the measurements. Everything else is by yourself. So that's the writing up on the um, template, it's the creating of the results table, it's the drawing of the graph in Desmos. And yes, this is new. There'll be a separate video showing you how to use Desmos. And then there'll be a Google Sheet where you'll have view only information, and that's where we're going to write all your results, and you go to your teacher's computer and add that one in. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to your CAMI document. So this one here, and we're going to open it. Now, if you've never opened it in CAMI before, you want to actually just come up to the top here. If you haven't got CAMI pinned, come to your extension tab, scroll down and click on this. If you haven't got this lovely highlighted, then click on it and then sign in with your at learn all right so in this one we're going to see is there a relationship in the pattern and what has just happened to my cami all right so we're going to measure the your height and your arm span of every member in the class and so we're going to end up with data from the whole year 10, 11. so it should be that the ratio of arm span is one times the height. And we're going to enter your measurements in Google Sheet. So we've given you, and where did this come from? Delete that, and delete that, and delete this. So if, if you want to delete something, just click on it. All right, so this, to see if the height of arm span and ratio is one to one, we come back up here and we go to see the words to see and we're copying that or we're retyping it directly down so i give it to you this time next time i don't variable one and if you haven't got a little text box clicking up come over here to text box and click and it will come so variable one is going to be the first variable so that's going to be your height And variable two is going to be this one. It's going to be your arm span ratio. Sorry. Okay. This, whatever is first is going to be your x-axis. Whatever is second is going to be your y-axis. So in here, we're going to name each variable and how you're going to measure this exactly. So this is unlike physics. You have to be incredibly accurate here and you have to write a method. So the first one here is height. And it's the height of what? So it's the student size. And we also want our units and we're all going to measure. All of these are going to be measured in centimeters. Variable two is going to be arm span, and it's student's arm span. And it's also going to be measured in centimetres. Now, this will determine here whether you get an achieved or a merit, because this sets you up for writing your method. And you need to have a method or you cannot pass. All right, so you have to explain to me how you would measure this accurately. So most of us, we're going to stand against a wall and we're going to measure it. Are you going to stand with your shoes on or your shoes off? 
how are you going to judge the height against the wall? Are you going to have a ruler there or not? So this is one way that we can look at doing this. Okay, let's go and check that and move that around. If you want to move, you just come to the end. Heels against the wall. As you can see, it's a little bit big, so we'll just we'll select it, and we'll come back to T up here, and we'll change our font size down a little bit. So 18, so 16, that fits in nicely. All right, now you've got to do exactly the same for arm span. So you've got to tell me how you are going to measure your arm span exactly, so another student can follow it. For the reliability, this is also going to be looking at bivariant data. So if you never got your bivariant data in maths, then you can also get your bivariant data here. You need to have a minimum of 30 samples. So this is what we're going to do. And we're going to do it for year 11 because that's the group that we're belonging to. Okay, so next we're looking at variables. These are things, if you didn't control them or keep them the same, they would make a difference to your results. All right, so they're going to make a difference to your measurements. So shoes on or, so, um, shoes on or off. Sorry, I'm going to listen to this video in class and think everybody's now doing this. So you've got to tell me how you're going to keep this the same. All right, and I suppose that should be over there and you're going to tell me what variable that's going to be. Okay, there's a couple now here with the same ruler. You have to tell me why. And there's something else with the ruler that has something to do with the zero mark. There's something to do with the placement of the ruler on the head. There's something to do with the placement of the heels against the wall. And then the lucky last one is your equipment that you need. So that would be two, two meter rulers and a 30 centimeter ruler. I really can't spell today, can I? Okay, so now you're going to write me a step-by-step -step method here. And that is going to be a method for how you're exactly going to do hand arm span and exactly how you're going to do student height. Everything that you've put here in these boxes will be down here as a numbered method. All right, let's go see.